more shocking story to tell. He said that back when he was a network television science consultant, he was inside a NASA control room when the first Mars space probe touched down. When Viking landed in 1976, I'm standing there looking at a monitor with Carl Sagan. Carl was on my left, some NBC guys are on my right, and we're looking at this first color image come in, downlink, live from Mars, and it looks like Arizona. I saw some of the pictures and sets a clear resolution. So, Mr. President, I know what we're seeing in the landscape uh, with maybe blue sky and distance. Then, a few hours later, the head guys sent technicians around to tweak the red knobs on all the monitors in the entire lab. Certain individuals have the political power to keep all of us in the dark about our heritage. They started in 1976 by changing the color of Mars so it would never really look like what it is, which is apparently a lot like Arizona. An error was made. The Martian sky, the scientists now say, is pinkish. This is the first color picture of the Viking 2 landing site, proving that this area of Mars is red, just as the Viking 1 site was. So, this corresponds to the real Mars. Look at the sky. It's not pink. It's baby blue. So NASA had gone to great lengths to hide the fact that Mars' atmosphere is similar to our own, able to support life. If someone's painting the sky... They all had to be in on it. And that would point to an even bigger Mars cover-up. Is it possible they've already been there but they haven't told us?